Sebastian Auger has been on a tear during this year's World Rally Championship. Despite this being the debut season for Volkswagen, the Frenchman has taken his polo to victory five times out of the opening nine rounds. This weekend, the dust will be flying outside Coffs Harbour for Coates Hire Rally Australia, and Ogier could become world champion by Sunday afternoon. I like this rally, it's nice stages, and uh, yeah, my, my target for this weekend is definitely to, to be on the podium and even fight for victory if I can. Ogier has the might of the VW factory supporting his entry. Three years in the planning has laid the foundation to their speed and consistency in 2013. I think we have done a really good job last year, uh, good preparation, a lot of tests with this car and it was a good surprise to see that we were reliable and performant immediately, so uh, I'm happy with that, but now we just have to, to secure because without the result at the end it doesn't mean anything, so we just need to secure uh, all this good job we have done. The competition will be stiff and if experience has anything to go by, no one has more knowledge of the Coffs Roads than local Nathan Quinn who will have a World Championship Mini at his disposal. Everybody has their dream, you know, say it's the, say it's the lottery, you sit at home with your, your partners, your kids or whatever, and you're like, if I won the lottery, what would I do with it? Well, for me, this is my lottery, you know, so we're uh, driving a World Rally car, and, and uh, I'm, I'm the first Australian since Chris Atkinson in seven years to drive a World Rally car here, you know, so in Australia. So that's unreal, and, uh, you know, it's what dreams are made of for me, and uh, it's fantastic. The rally stars have been making their mark in Coffs Harbour with Chris Atkinson handing over a $5,000 cheque to the local hospital on behalf of event sponsor Coates Hire. The rally covers 353 competitive kilometres over 22 stages.